sketches. Hi, good morning. Say, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> a few weeks back, we launched a massive trawl to find the new supermodels for the new millennium. And do you know how many interest we had? 100,000, actually more than 100,000, which is more people you can pack into Wembley Stadium. And these are the last 10. So good morning and good luck to Lauren. John Paul. Erica. Andy. Jacqueline. Ross. Anna. Daniel. Nadine. Rory. Ronan, you're too old, mate. Get off, you're not on yet. <laughs> <laughs> Always pushing him. <laughs> well, it's a great final today, as, as we said. And you're all nervous, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're all really, really nervous, but it's going to be good. They'll look absolutely well Ronan's here with a live performance of his new single, Life's a Roller Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, getting on. Well, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you make a very nice model. You're going to comedy. <laughs> um, it, it, the, this is your second solo. Yeah, yeah. When you say nothing at all from Notting Hill last year, yeah. But uh, that, that was released without an album. So yes. uh, basically, I'm having a go for it now with uh, with an album released at the end of the month as well as the single. Yeah, it's it's quite become quite a fashion for very well established bands to um, take some time off. Yeah. and do, do their own thing, the Spice Girls, but you and the rest of the yeah, boys I think, I think it's healthy for the band, really, because like we've been living in each other's pockets for six, seven years now, and you know you kind of get stuck in the mud, same, nothing fresh, nothing new for the band. Mm. So uh, we kind of just we decided we, we needed to go away and kind of reinvent ourselves almost. So we did that, and we all went away. Mm. We all had little things that we wanted to kind of... Uh, we wanted to do, which was the solo careers, basically. Yeah. And uh, Shane wanted to race his cars, Keith wanted to get into a bit of TV and whatnot. Mm. So I think, if anything, it's going to bring new ideas back into the pot for boys on, so it's healthy at the end mm. of the day, you know? Yeah. I was just looking at those... Actually, you could make a very good model, I think, um, even at your advanced years. Um, but I was... Did, how old are you, 23? How old are you, 23? <laughs> no, yeah, you're thinking, actually, one of the models is 20, would-be models is 22. But anyway, I was looking at their faces, and we've been chatting to them this morning. They're all very nervous. But they're all hungry for fame, you know? They're yeah. all hungry to make it. Looking back, how, how hungry were you? Oh, that was probably my, my, the drive that, that got me here today, and, and yeah. I continue to be, yeah. which is something that helps me along the way. I think it's important to be hungry, because if you're not, and if people don't see that, they don't, you know, there's always someone else to take your, yeah. to take your place, you know, that mm -hmm. will work harder. And it's all about working hard, you know, it's not, it doesn't just happen this, you really have to put it in. Mm. Did you used to sort of wake up before you, you got famous and successful, did, did you wake up in the mornings feeling frustrated that you hadn't made it today, that you weren't there yet, you hadn't um, got a band? Before the band, no, when I was 16 I was in a rock band, I was very carefree, I didn't care about what I was doing. Right. I wasn't great in school, but I was just one of these I, kind of carefree type of people. And it wasn't until I got in the band did the drive really start, That's and then I really, it was, yeah, it was really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, every day I was just, I, was, I felt I was pushed and pushed along, and it was great. Mm. Yeah. You said, I mean, was there ever, there's no doubt that you are, despite everyone going solo, that you are the most high profile member of Boys End. Does that ever cause any tensions between you? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're all, like, we're all still good friends, you know, we keep it in touch on the phone, we see each other a lot. And at the end of the day, we are going to get back together as a band. So whatever we do as individuals is only, I guess, it was only minor to compare to what we can do with the band, you know. Mm. Stephen did very well, didn't he? It was great, yeah. I was just talking to him. His album came out last week as well, which was Fantastic. great for him. Yeah, he's very happy. Everything's going really he, well. He is very happy. He was, he was a different Oh, it's great, it's great to see it, yeah. He's, yeah. he's over the moon, you know. Yeah. He's so much more relaxed yeah. now. Well, he was sitting where you're sitting about, what, a month ago? Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, he's a different boy. Yeah, completely different. Did you did, did the band feel very protective about him before he, before he came out? Yeah, he was always like our little brother, always in the band. Yeah. And, he, and he, was, he was okay about that. He liked that, I guess, you know. And he will always continue to be our little brother. We'll always look after him as best we can. But it's great that he has Eloy now, and, you know, he mm. pretty much they look after each other, and it's great, and they're very happy, and yeah. we, we see each other a lot now, yeah. and it's, it's great, you know. Because he said it was really, I mean, I, I, I said to him when he was in, you can't have helped when you're doing interviews like with us here, some idiot like me was saying, and have you got a girlfriend? I have a few, one in every part, I think, was our answer there. <laughs> But he's really relaxed now. He seems he seems very happy. Um, and you, you're very busy, aren't you? Yeah, it's 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 been. I've been very lucky. You know, I've been out in America for the last three months finishing the the solo album off, um, which was quite strange being out there. You know, being away from everything that I know and 
like having a career here and being successful here, but going out to America, and nobody knowing who I am or what what I do, mm. yeah. and uh, which was fun for a while. But after a while, you kind of miss it. You know, I was like, <laughs> hey, do you know who I am? Uh, hey, yeah, do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm famous, man. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. So, um, so I was glad to come home and get back into it. So I've, I've been doing this for the last two weeks now. I've started yeah. all the radio, the TV, the magazines. Right. Yeah. Back out of it. Is Boys going to try and crack America, or have you tried? Um, what's, what's going it, on? At the time, it wasn't wrong. Nobody knew what to do with pop acts when we were going to break, and mm. then the Spice Girls came along and broke, and at that stage we were so busy in the rest of the world that we couldn't mm -hmm. not commit there and go off to America for six months or eight months, whatever it, it would have taken. And they sent us out once, and Mercury, the record label out there, uh, brought us out, and they didn't know what to do with us, and they sent us to the wrong stations, and it was just, it was, it was comical. Mm. So we ended up getting on a plane and coming home after well, two you mean days. You were going on, on, on stations that don't play your kind of music? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, and they were sending us off to like Nebraska and stuff like like places like. <laughs> I, I was just, it was a bit, it was a bit silly, you know. So anyway, we came home after two days. <laughs> yeah. Was it you that pulled the plug? Well, it was kind of yeah. Between all of us, we had decided to oh, hang no. on, you know. And we called our manager and said, so would, "It's not happening." Would you, would you have another crack at the states, or, or is, it not, is it not worth it? Do you need to do it? Well. It is worth it. It's definitely worth it. Uh, I'm going to have a go on my own in January. I'm launching the album. I've signed to a new label out there, Interscope, and mm -hmm. everyone's very happy. Everyone's ready to go with it. So um, I'm definitely going to do that. But well, as a band in Boyzone, I don't know if, if it can ever what happen. Are, what are the Americans like? I mean, if you're big in Britain and big in Europe and big around the world, do they still go so? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you have to. Yeah. You have to let them think it was all their idea. They, you know? they discovered and you. Yeah, very yeah. much so. And, and that's fine. If they break you, great. Let them think that. I don't care, you know. Like yeah. winning the war. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Fine. yeah. Whatever. Doing. <laughs> so it's you've, very much like that. You've had so much going on in your life that you've, you've stopped managing um, Westlife. No, haven't I haven't. This, oh, I yeah. No, it was yeah. something. I was away in Canada at a wedding there about two weeks ago and I got a phone call saying, why, why, why have you left Westlife? You know, and I said, what? <laughs> I knew nothing about it. No, nobody had told me anything. It was totally all over the press here at home. Yeah. But still looking after the lads, you know, they're climbing yeah. the charts in America in the top 20 this week. And second biggest selling record yeah. in America. It's flying, you know, it's absolutely unbelievable. And you're still running them? Still, well, as, as much as possible. You know, I'm yeah. not a day-to-day -day manager, you know, to be honest. I'm, I, I got involved in the early days with the album. I set up yeah. the album, the way it sounds, the way they look, the whole project. And then let them Yeah, and then they kind of, yeah. And now with the second album coming up again, I'll get involved again. Oh, they've done very well, um, but they must be very grateful to you, because I, th I think your initial push um, provided them with a lot of good publicity. Yeah, I hope so. I yeah. hope so. Yeah, that was another uh, tool, you know. I use my name as, yeah. you know, just to get the guys out there yeah. at the time. Yeah. And they're, they're bigger than I am, you know. It's <laughs> kind of created a monster, but what can you do? You've done, so, think so. You've done for a kid who says he didn't do well at school. You, here you are, 23, your father, you've got a you know, lovely wife, you've got a baby, you, you run a band, you're in a band, you've gone solo. I mean, you're 23. Um, it's Jeez. just something that, that happens, you know. It, it all, it's all mm. crossed my path along the way, and I've grabbed it and, and said, yeah. let's go for it, you yeah. know. It's, I think a lot of people get offered these gigs, and so a lot of people just turn them down because they feel they're too much on the plate. Well, it's not, you know. This is, mm. 24 hours in a day, you know. <laughs> well, it helps looking the way you're doing. It helps having a great voice. Um, we heard you in rehearsal this morning. Singing live, great. Yeah, and you're going to sing live at the end of the show. I am indeed, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll, Life's a roller coaster. Life's a roller coaster. <laughs> it certainly is. In your case, it's going up all yeah. the time. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll play a clip of that going into the next break. Right. Um, after I've said, still to come today, the Midday Money Qualifier, the Early Bird, and Dr. Chris with a load of brand new medical gadgets, including this one. And we have absolutely no idea what it's I for. Know. See? Well, don't tell me. Yeah, we'll get, get Christmas out. Um, so we'll go to the break with Ronan, and we'll see you in a minute. Hello. 